So this is Doug Squared, Doug and Doug. And we're gonna do a fun little project in the shop today. We're gonna throw this in the forge and then we're gonna press it with the uh, 40 ton press like this and see what happens. So this is a uh, piece of round stock, mild steel, nothing particularly special about it. It's uh, three and a half inches long, two inches wide. It's not hardened in any way or tempered or anything. And if this were just a straight piece of, of stock without any indentations or drilling or cutting or anything like that, it would obviously mushroom out, bulge around the middle, probably be indented on the bottom, something like that. But the uh, stress fields in it get heavily modified by these cuts and holes that we've put in here and create lots of really sculpturally interesting effects. What I've done to prep it is I've got half inch holes, three eighths inch holes, but there's another little more subtle thing, which is that along 60 degree angles, you have a shear couple. One part, the top part going right, the bottom part going to the, to the left. I assume that's to your left and right <laughs> as a viewer. But anyway, it's a, it's a, it's a um, complementary shear couple. So you get a shearing action in this direction along the diagonal. So let's go ahead and heat this up and put it in the press and see how it reacts. Here we go. So that That's 40 tons right there. the meridian ones, the vertical ones, completely opened up and dished out. Oh, this one, this one is, is good. Let me spin it around. This looks like a jack-o'-lantern. So these were the 45 degree crosses and the bottom set closed, the top set opened. 